Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Matus at Caring Medical Florida. I want to talk to you about an interesting case that I've seen recently uh, on it with a patient with wrist instability. So here, for those of you that may not be familiar, your wrist is essentially like this sea of little tiny bones and a whole bunch of ligaments that hold it together. When somebody injures these ligaments, maybe they fall onto their hand or an overuse injury or a sprain, if the wrist becomes unstable, patients will complain a lot of times of like popping and clicking in the wrist, pain, um, loss of function, it becomes harder to do maybe like fine motor skill tasks, even like writing your name, swelling, muscle spasms in the forearm. Any of these can really happen in anyone with wrist instability. There are ways that you can stress the wrist on physical exam to determine if it's unstable or if you feel you know, bones or joints are moving more than they should. But in this patient, we actually were able to show how unstable her wrist is using a motion x-ray, which we often call DDR in the office. In this patient's case, we did an x-ray with her just at rest and you can see here, these are all the little bones in the wrist. Um, up into her hand, and then with a force applied, you can actually see how much more space you have between the bones, right? Like how much they're moving. If we look here, you got a little teeny tiny space there, and then how much that opens up, or even especially in the middle here, how much that opens up just with a little bit of force on the wrist. That is how we're diagnosing whether or not like these bones are, these joints are moving more than they should. Here on the patient's good side, the stable side, you can see that when force is applied, the, everything really kind of stays in place. If you compare that to the unstable side, you can see how much more separation you're getting in between those joints as compared, to, again, to the stable side. For this patient, because of the extent of instability, we did a combination of dextrose prolotherapy and PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, and we coupled that with bracing, where she actually had to brace her wrist frequently to help hold everything in place and minimize the amount of force on the wrist while it's healing. In cases like this, where the instability is very significant, we may even consider treating patients in a closer time frame, like maybe every two or three weeks, versus every four or six, just again to help minimize the amount of stress that's on the joint in between treatments. Here you can see again, before treatment and then after treatment, much more stable. And the patient herself even said, my wrist is solid, which is always a good thing to hear.